Hi, my name is Ben Sinclair. I'm an MPH candidate at Eastern Washington University. And this is a, another video on our series on using EpiInfo. We are, I want to talk about geolocation today. Um, one of the neat things about EpiInfo is that it has the ability to plot the data you collect on a map. Um, so <clears throat> I'd like to show you how to create the fields in your form to, to use later for that function. Uh, so let's start by opening up EpiInfo. And we're going to go to Create Forms. And we'll continue working with the form that we've been creating. So I'll click Open Project. And the project we're working on is we titled Epi Learning. And this is Epi Learning the form that we're creating. Okay, it just takes a minute here to open up the project. Okay. Now, to create the geolocation field, I'm going to go here to the left side and go all the way to the bottom where we've got templates and then fields. We'll expand this menu here. And you can see a geolocation field. Let's go ahead and click and drag that over to our form. OK. Now, <coughs> in the so you see we've got several spaces here. And the way this will work is um, that when you're collecting data, you can collect uh, an address or enter an address. And then um, it, click Get Coordinates, and EpiInfo will uh, fill in the latitude and longitude. Now, it does need a uh, an internet connection in order to retrieve the latitude and longitude um, for this for this field. Um, but once that's been uh, retrieved and filled in, then as I mentioned later on, that allows for the data from these forms to be entered as points on a map to look for patterns. Um, and you can also use um, the, the geolocation features of FBINFO also allow for time reference to show on a map, so you can show not only the, the location, but also the spread of an illness over time. Uh, so this is a really useful thing to, I think, I think to add to any the forms you're creating, um, you know, to help present information later on. Thanks.